everybody. Let's talk about fonts real quick. Now I'm sure you figured out, um, you know, how to uh, drag your titles into timelines by now. But uh, one, a couple things you might not know about. Let's take a look here. Um, if you double click the, if you double click the uh, title, it'll bring up this inspector, and you can come and and you and you can walk through all the different all the different titles. And, and that's all well and good but you can also come up here to show fonts and walk through each one of the fonts you have loaded now you might notice mine looks different because I've actually loaded different fonts and I'm going to show you how to do that I'll give you a for instance here's this big Carlson font now in Final Cut this font looks great, but for some reason, I don't know if it's the shadows or, or the, the edging iMovie's doing, it just doesn't look good. So we can change that. And, and the simple way to do that is you just come up here to your preferences and pick a new one. It'll, it'll kind of show you what it looks like if you look over here to the right. But honestly, if, if you're really serious about your fonts, uh, you'll just open up your uh, font book here and you know walk through these and 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 find the ones you're looking for and then once you have that you can just easily come back over here and 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 pick your and pick the font you want um, I'm gonna go with the arrow bold that looks nice now that we have a you know a good bold font in there um, You'll notice we can walk the title in the timeline, or like a timeline, I should say. And this works for the colors, it works for the sizes. You can, you can walk all except when you can click it, it's selected. I selected three gray comic, done. And, and that's the way it is. Let's talk about the limitations of iMovie. Now, I like drop shadows on fonts because they kind of make it pop. But if it's not included in, uh, you know, the way they did this, there's no drop shadow on there. I'm not getting one. And if you if you want that level of control over your fonts, you're going to need another tool like Final Cut or Motion. Uh, you know, where it has like offset, angle, softness, opacity, and you can you know keyframe things and and things of that nature. Um, and even in motion, you can, you know, control each letter individually and every aspect of that object. So, but that being said, iMovie does make it easy and, you know, you're not going to get this quick pick and done with other tools. So, uh, the last thing I'd say is, uh, you know, these, these pretty cursive fonts, I guess. Just just watch out where you use them. Unless you're using them on a really big screen, you know, I wouldn't use this on YouTube or anything because it'd be super hard to read at like 360 wide. You know, stick to big bold fonts um, that are easy to read and and you'll make good videos. Thanks for watching.